Hi! Welcome to Challenge Monday. Challenge Monday, we are going to do, we did a poll and you guys said you wanted me to challenge you. So, I'm starting with the very basics. You've been through the um, video about enrichment. You've been through the video about clickers. We've had a post about why I call a cue a cue. Um, so, today we are going to teach a really simple, very easy hand target. But this hand target is a wealth of cues waiting to happen. Um, the hand target can work wonderful for a recall. You can teach over, you can teach under, you can teach up, you can teach off. Um, you can teach an animal to target something that they might be a little fearful of um, to get over that fear. So this hand target has so many uses um, I'm really excited about it. I'm excited about you guys seeing exactly how easy it is and what we can accomplish with it. But the very first step, all I want you guys to do is come in, present your hand to your dog. Your dog's probably going to come in. They're not going to do what my dogs are going to do when you see because they're, they're pretty seasoned at this. But they're going to come in and sniff your hand, okay? When they sniff your hand, that's your click point. You're going to click that and you're gonna immediately give them a treat. Um, you're gonna represent your hand again, and they're gonna start getting more and more into touching your hand. This is really great for fearful dogs that are meeting new people. Once they get to the point where they can actually get close, someone can hold out their hand, they can do a hand target, and they get to touch the person, but they don't have to be pet and kind of like taken out of their comfort zone. So these are, this, this cue just keeps going and amazing ways. Um, so one thing that I can tell you is when you come in to give your dog your hand, if the dog doesn't touch it, bring it back in. Represent it. If you do this, like it's just going to get annoying and they're going to be like, what are you doing? And it'll start to become uncomfortable to them. So just bring it back in. If they don't touch it, that's okay. Take it in a couple of inches away from their nose. Remember right now you're close. Later on we can run across the room and have them come target our hand. Um, so that's the gist of it. I'm going to put Ringo up on his climb so you can see him. Come on Ringo up. You sit. You wave at everybody. Let's wave. Hey, can you wave? Yeah, good job. That was a little wave, but that's okay. So, I'm going to present my hand, Durango, and there's my click point. He touched my hand. Now, as you start to practice, you can start moving your hand, keeping it close to their face so that it's not hard for them. But you can start doing it in different directions. This will teach them that wherever your hand is, they're going to move towards it. Good. On your spot, Rube. You want to work, girl? And I'm going to get Ruby's decided that she's going to participate. She had a little tummy ache today, so I'm not pushing her too hard today. rewarding Ruby because she's sitting here so patiently on her climb and Ringo's found some chicken on the floor. Back up. Come on. Up you go. Ringo. Hey bud. What are you looking for? Come on. Hey. I think he thinks there's a special treat somewhere. Yeah. Good boy. What was that about? 
Ringo is a very palsy dog, as you see, and he loves to slap me in the face. It's one of his favorite things to do. <laughs> He's silly. Good girl. Okay, Ringo, off. Ruby's good at this too. She actually loves this. Yeah, good girl. Let's give your brother a piece. He's sitting there nicely. Good girl. You see, there's another application. You can teach a twirl with an ant target. <laughs> she loves to twirl. Good girl. Good job. Can you turn around here and say hello to everybody? Come here. This way. Good girl. Good job. Okay, guys. You Off you go. So, there's a hand target. Let me know if you have any questions. Happy clicking!